today we are going to be doing another Minecraft video. So, you might notice my background is a bit different, it's more like Pocket Edition. Now, I'm actually not playing on Pocket Edition. Why, Why did this always come up? Okay, I don't even going to go in there. Okay, and... Um, but I'm actually playing on Switch Edition, and the reason I've not been, been like making lots of videos is really because I've been messing around with my f Nintendo Switch. But now I'm back to making another Minecraft video, so I've actually not explained what the video is about. What we're going to be doing today is we are actually going to be doing, or at least fighting, the Ender Dragon. Now I have thought it before, because you might have seen it in my Wii U world. I have got an egg, but today we're going to be fighting it, like, legit. So, we're not going to be in creative mode. We're going to be doing it in survival. Now, I don't really do much in survival, but if you are going to think that this video is going to be legit, I'm getting everything legit, well, it's not. I'm going to be getting the items I need off the creative menu and then fighting the Ender Dragon. So, let's get to it. And I've been logged on since I've recorded a video, so... Uh, and Switch, and... And I will show you some stuff that I've been doing. Really? Okay, I think we're in my... Oh yeah, we're in my house at the moment. So, in this... Now, you will see that I actually can use command blocks. Well, you might not have seen that. But I can use commands, so now... I can use commands and get command blocks and stuff. Command blocks and such. Real. Okay. And I also have got a panda. He has escaped today. He, j he actually recently escaped. Boo! Now, this is actually the name of panda. Boo. So, yeah. So, there's my panda. Now, you may notice I am in my night skin. I had to mess around to get with this skin because I had like the older list or the Elderman and it's some sort of Elderman, El uh, Enderman skin. So yeah, you will notice I have, no, it's not like my, like the house I've got in my other one. It's really a more like my house I'd say because I based it on my house. So you see Boo, I'm just going to give you quick little tour of my house. Now bef now once you step into every room there's going to be uh let's just see if I can get it there. There. A command block. And and there's a really cool command called title at P title. And then you can write whatever you want, put it on impulse unconditional and then needs redstone. And then if you put that on top, as soon as you step into it it'll say that. And you really you can just write anything. So I've written Jackson Splinter's house, which is my username, not Emma like it was before. Cause my, last time it was Emma for some reason. So I've got Jackson Splinter's house, and then welcome, and then this is my underscore cupboard. Now this is kind of what I've got like got, got in real life. Now I've not got this many chests because really I try to base what everything I've done in this world on my actual world, really. Um, no, when I say my actual, when I say my actual word, I mean my actual house that I have in real life. So this will kind of give you like a clue to kind of what my house is like in real life. So I've got the couch here. I've got a big telly here. No, it's not, my telly's not that big. Don't get excited that my telly's that big. It's not that big. I've got book shelves here. No, I have got this is like DVDs and some books there. Got my bum chair here. This is my, well, my dad's table sort of thing. And then go into the kitchen. I've not actually got lots of cake here. I don't know why this, the cake, always buggy. I don't know why the cake's always buggy. It's just, well, it's cake. And not all of the cake actually spawns. Yes, I think the cake. Okay. I'm gonna go this here, this here. No, I, no, it's not actually like all actually my house. I've just, I've tried to base it as best as I can in my house. I've tried to base it as best as I can in my house. So that's all downstairs. Let's go up here. Now we're going here. This is my room. I've actually got, I've got like a cupboard here. I've got a cupboard there. Now that, it's not because my bedroom's old. I've actually got a hammock there for lots of my toys. I've got a bedside table here. I always get stuck in the hammock. Cobwebs. I've got a bed here. 
Uh, okay. Let's go with that. Spare room. I've got this. I've actually got two cupboards there. Got a lot for my toys here, really. So I've got that there. That there. Now I'm not going to show what's in this chest. I'll show you the, there's a barrier in here. So to get, I'll show. I'll explain it later. Like that's really good. Now the reason I've got so many beds is it's only a two bed that I actually have in this room in real life. But otherwise this is just a giant like space here. So I just filled it up with beds. So it's n what something. Boo probably stepped on that. that boo. Yeah, boo stepped on it. Wait, wait a minute. Okay. Boo actually stepped on a pressure plate. And it, it was boo just flashed on my screen. Okay, that was weird. My panda, boo, I already showed you before, oh, just stepped on the pressure plate. I'm pretty sure it's so. Actually, the doors are actually this close together. Am I real? So, bathroom. Now I don't know why I've got the toilet open. I must have left that open. Get your toilet paper. Got a sink here. And then I've actually these are probably like the, my bath towels really. I've got a bath here. Now I could have put the shower head here, otherwise it would just spray everywhere. And well, that wouldn't be good. So yeah, and this one is my mum's and dad's room. So we've got big chests there. We've also got chests there. I don't know. Now you have to stand, actually stand on that to get onto this. Yeah, otherwise, it's ju just a big waste of space if I if I don't put the beds in. Then I've got them on wool, which are which is quite weird. And I've got this here. It's really a, a replacement for a mirror. So, oh, I just remembered one more thing. Now I'm going to do it before I get onto the end stuff. Okay. I've actually, my friend Jackson, he plays on this. He, okay, so you may already know this, but my ja my friend Jackson, if it, said if you do like a six by six of item frames and put these in them, and put empty maps in them, it should make like a big map. So I'm just going to try this quickly. Because actually I've got like a mirror here, so one, two, three, four, one, Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you fill that. And hopefully this is big enough. Whoa! Okay, that is cool. Okay, never mind. That's not how you do it. I'm not sure if you can do this in Wii U version, but apparently you can do it in this version. I don't know why I just punched a hole in my wall. Okay, that's cool. So you can actually place down the map, which is cool. Oh, it's got to be on an item frame! Ah, that makes more sense. Ah, that makes more sense now. I'm going to do a 3 by 3 of this. Okay, never mind. It There, that's cool. That's what, like, different maps. So you can tell this is my house. Now that looks pretty cool. That's my pen with where Boo is. I've got now. Makes it doesn't make like one big map. It's just quite weird though. So that's really all. But we need the stuff to make it. So I'm actually not. Yeah, no, I'm not going to bother searching it up because that's because I'm afraid that's going to take ages. 
Okay, so let I render. So you so if you're playing survival you will actually have to get these all legit. Or you can just go in creative. I I think going into creative mode is really easy is much, much easier, but you can do whatever you want. So let's just uh I don't know no. Okay, I'll just search up end. I don't want I at all. The only p reason people would use iron ore in creative mode is really the only reason re is really because they well the decoration. Now let's just search up. Hopefully, end comes up with something. Ah, end portal. Above the sister. Okay, what am I thinking? I'm going to need items. So, obviously you're going to get some items. Uh, really, preferably, if you're doing a survival series, I prefer you get diamond armor. Honestly. Now, I wouldn't recommend getting... I don't really... Okay, no matter. I honestly would recommend actually like getting a diamond sword. I'd recommend getting a trident, honestly. I recommend getting a trident because that does eight attack damage. Well, if you look at diamond sword, that's a seven. And also, weird thing is the gold sword does four. Let me just show you. Wood sword does four. Stone sword does five. Ice sword does six. Gold sword does four. Diamond does seven. Now that's weird. That's not weird, I don't know what is. So you're going to want to get a trident, obviously, because trident's the best. So, a bow. So I think, I don't know, you'd say, oh, poison bow, poison arrow. I'd honestly say potion of harming. So I'm going to get 64 potions of harming and uh, 64 potions of poison. Oh, you're going to want... Uh, uh, you're also going to want some night vision. Uh, yeah, let's go wait. Going to want some night vision. No, I can't recommend... Go, Jack, hold on. That's not going to be shouting, is it? Wait, I'm just going to go, go check something. Wait. Don't shout. Just go and see if it's... Well, do you shout at me? No, you're on the spirit side. Okay, sorry about that. I thought my mummy was shouting to me. So... I would recommend getting Potion of Invisibility. Wait, can you get that for longer? A long Potion of Invisibility. Sorry. Potion. Wait, what's that? Eight. What's this? No. Get okay, eight. So that would help us, I think. Potion of Leap in there. Okay, so, uh, anything else? I don't like. Oh, ladders. Actually, wait. Will I need the ladders? Okay, I'll just get 64 ladders just in case. I'll probably get more than that actually. Because when I was thinking of ladders, you, c you could use that to climb to the top. Rather than just wasting your potion of invisibility. So honestly, if you're going to want to do it easy, I, su I would suggest getting all this. But it will be very hard. Now listen when I say this, it will be very hard. So don't expect defeating the Ender Dragons easy. So I don't think anybody expects it to feed the under dragons easily. Okay, I cannot... F oh! I was just going to say I cannot find ladders. Okay, uh... What don't we need at the moment? Uh... Actually, I think all of this we need. I'm just going to... Okay, I'll keep that there. I'll put these arrows here. I think we might be ready, actually. Yeah. So, I want, what I want to show you is in this chest. Now, to get a barrier, you want to, you're just going to want to do slash give your in game name or slash give at P. I think it's slash give your in game name barrier. And then, what I have done is I've got barriers here. 
I did open this box. got this room. I've just realised creating the end portal is quite creepy. I'm not sure if I'm ready to be the ender dragon. I actually don't think I'm ready. I'm, not, I'm crazy so I'm gonna do it because I'm crazy. Also what I recommend is turning off music because music is very creepy if you turn Minecraft music on. I'm gonna change that. So many sounds are creepy. Then no I found. Okay, no sound. That feels much much better. Even just staring into, even just staring into this. Oh, I almost forgot. Okay, I almost forgot that. You need a pickaxe. Oh, we would have been in major trouble if I didn't remember this pickaxe. So yeah, it's not just because it does five attack damage. Just five attack damage. No, you need, you usually spawn somewhere really bad. So really you need to do that. Okay, uh. Okay, uh. Wait, sorry about that. Uh, my camera is on low, so I'll have to stop that there. <laughs> 